Hello and welcome everyone to the Shiny Rikle channel. This is your host Shiny Rikle. Now, the band list is just out, so obviously I'm going to make a deck profile for this current band list. This video will be probably be up the band list date when it's effective or like the day before. Because I've been so busy with school stuff, I have exams and the whole of this week I had project due. I didn't finish any of them until the exact date they were due. So I've been busy. Now about the ban list, the ban list to me was garbage. I think Konami could have done better. Hitting pendulums only did not help the game any at all. Now PK Fire is going to be the best deck, undeniably. Cosmos barely got touched. The hit reasoning, which wasn't really a Cosmo card to begin with, is just a very unreasonable card. And also Eta Little 2 is not really a big deal for them. They have like what? Three farm girl, three R two D two, like they can make things happen. Also, other things I'm going to discuss, like the deck as is now. I've been testing the OCG ban list before we even got the TCG list. So in case they hit monkey board and other stuff, I was prepared. Now they didn't hit monkey board, which is good. I was kind of between eh good and disappointed because keyboard being gone wasn't really a big deal to me because I found a way around it and sometimes it gives me problems by being stuck in the scale and I can't use my magicians alright let me go into the deck profile now before I start just one last thing the deck is sorted in a way that everything has a reason and purpose to be in, in the deck there is nothing in the deck that Oh, there I just couldn't find space for another card. everything is in here for a purpose not one card is in here without a purpose and by the way I took the synchro route for the deck because with exceed summons your pendulum monsters are gone forever with synchro summons they'll be back next turn to synchro with again if you want so I've taken the synchro route first up is other pendulum dragon it has three effects first one when a pendulum monster attacks or is attacked you can take no damage from it. The second pendulum effect is you can destroy it in the end phase and search for a 1500 or less pendulum monster. And while on the field, when he does damage, your opponent takes double damage. You're going to combo off this for OTKs. Next up, three dragon pit magician. Absolutely necessary. He's your eight scale. And he's your eight scale. You, trust me, with the wisdom being hit to one, like. Your 8 scale has never been become more important because at first you could have drawn any magician or performer pal with wisdom and you have your scale set. You can draw any of your 3 dragon pit, your scales are set. You could draw your pendulum call, your scales are set. Now, so your scales are set for a majority of reasons, but if they are not set, however, you're in big issues because the deck is going to break. It's not like Pepe where you play lots of level 4s. These bad boys can't be summoned. You're stuck with them. Okay, your deck may hit way heavier, but if they're stuck and can't be summoned and you break, you're in a lot of trouble. <coughs> so I'm going to show you what I do to play around that. Next up, Dragon Pulse is for monster removal for any problematic monsters that you can't really attack off. Wisdom Eye, because... You He's no longer a Wisdom Eye in the deck, he's THE Wisdom Eye in the deck. Very good card. You know what he does, he changes scales to suit your needs. He becomes 8 if you want. If you need a low scale, he'll become a low scale if you want. He's very good. Next up, I'm going to explain a few combos you can do with it, but next up, what I do to compensate is I play 2 Time Gazer. Time Gazer is good and bad, meaning it has good effects about it but it also has bad effects the first thing is a very bad effect if you control a monster you cannot put it in the pendulum scale normally so you'll have to use wisdom to get it in the scale for you sorry the next drawback is that if you control in your next scale if you do not have a magician or odd eyes his scale will drop to four now this is a big deal because he can't use keyboard on him, the skills would be stuck at 4 and there is no wavering to get rid of them. You'll have to get his Sky Iris 
to remove them for you. Sky Iris will manually remove them one by one. Obviously, you're going to destroy a keyboard first because this actually has a good effect. And then his next good effect, <laughs> however, in the pendulum scale, is that when you attack with a pendulum monster, that your opponent cannot activate any trap cards. Now, this is good, especially in the Monarch matchup because it's annoying when you're trying to OTK them and they use the trap. So, if they're not sure what Time Gazer does, you can just attack them without them doing anything unless it's a spell or monster effect. So next up, 3 of Dragon. You used to could play 2, but seeing that you actually need it 100% now to cycle your wisdom from the grave or the extra deck, you have to play 3. Next up, 2 Shianki Magician. Shianki is very good. He cut blocks light monsters and in scale he'll turn uh, XE's rank into a level. Now this is good in more than one ways. But the best thing about him, he's a 2-5 beat stick. Just for someone in it for free, level 7, you can sync with him into a level 8. He's good. Plus he stops Cyber Dragon Infinity, stops Cosmo, Slip Rider and other light monsters and it pressures Cosmos to use the air effects as they summon so if they summon Tin Can they have to banish and special summon something from their hand because as it's summon you're going to use their effect to try and negate it. Next up is the Tuners. One Noble Dragon Magician, one Tuning Magician and Blow Up Bulb. Now there's a purpose for all of them Noble Dragon will continuously come back for the entire duel, so your level 7s in your synchro section will be live. Example, your Odd-Eyes. These two can never be dead as long as Noble Dragon is in the deck. Now, Tuning Magician is unique to this deck. It can only be played in this deck. Tuning Magician will special itself from the hand or graveyard as a level 1 tuner, so you can sink into 8. You play a lot of 7s, so you'll go into your 8 stars. What this opens up for you is 3 cards. Well, I play 3 of these. Now, Crimson is not mandatory, but the Crimson Chin is a very powerful card. We all know that. Stardust is Stardust. Stardust is just a good card in general. And Igneal, aka Ignisto, is there to wreck my opponent's day, especially in a pendulum matchup. It's disgusting. I can see why it's at one and I like it at one. I don't want my opponent summoning more than one of this on me. It's kind of scary. 2850. You know how much monsters that specify <laughs> it kills? Like this Crimson Blade of it by 50 all day, every day. So, your tuners will assist you in your synchro summons. And also, you have Glow Bulb. The only reason why you play Bulb is that you cannot use two Tuning Magician in the same turn and when you sync with Tuning Magician it gets banished. Also, Tuning Magician requires two Magicians in scale to summon itself. So that's a huge drawback right then and there. Well, Glow Bulb doesn't care, he'll come back from the grave whenever you need him. So you'll understand mandatorily that these are a must. Next up is your Performer Pulse. Joko, Monkey Board, and Donald Trump. Now, Trump is a must play, not because he's going for presidency, but because if you draw Joko and Keyboard in opening hand, Keyboard is dead, can't search for anything. Also, so it gives Keyboard a extra search so it doesn't break. And also, a next thing, when Keyboard is in the scale, the scale goes up to 4, which stops you from summoning majority of stuff in the deck, except for your big monsters, of course. And it becomes an issue. It's the same thing with the Time Gazer Magician, where they'll be stuck in scale. To have the two of them in scale at the same time is the worst possible outcome because you cannot pendulum someone. So, but one card can get you out of the situation, which is the limited card, unfortunately. Wisdom and Magician. He can turn the Monkey Board scale back to 1 for the entire turn. Make sure you have a Oath Dragon to fetch him back immediately because you will be needing the following turn if all doesn't go well. 
also you can use it to change time gazer's scale back to 8 in case if you already have something in scale and his scale is stuck at 4 you can change the scale back to 8 now the drawback on this is that you will mainly only do this with keyboard and you don't really want to waste your only wisdom on keyboard also it's only one wisdom so most likely you'll put the wisdom in the other scale and destroy itself and get your dragon bit in the case of time gazer if it's in the scale i don't think you'll <laughs> i don't think you'll want to change the scale back to eight i think you'll just put wisdom in it use its effect and it will affect will make it scale back eight again so that's not really a big deal if time gazer in there activate wisdom wisdom goes into oath of as back wisdom to your hand so it's a good little cheap combo that will get you out of breaking situations because the deck can break now fairly easily next up for the non yuya card two kirin i was going to play three but mm -mm. it's kind of dead with a lot of low scales and very few high scales and last for the monster section the only non pendulum monster Apex Avion. It's a good card, it negates for free basically, just going back to the hand, hides itself in your hand, so he's a free negate every turn. Now next up the spell section. Three Sky Iris because Sky Iris as I told is a very good card. And that's enough said about it. Three pendulum call is your rotor by discarding one and you search for two. And then two mystical space typhoon. Typhoon is just typhoon. One offs, one for one, foolish burial, and ragged key. Makes a lot of sense because one for one will fetch you any of your tuners that are level ones and it'll come back from the grave. Foolish burial is will send your any of your tuners to the grave. So your tuners should be live. The worst possible outcome is not drawing any of them, and even then it's not really bad because the rest of your deck is still good. And for the traps, Vanity's Emptiness, Bottomless Trap Hole, and Solemn Warning. That's it for your traps. Now time for the extra deck. Extra deck is as follows. One Runeize Pendulum Dragon. You will fusion summon this if you feel like. Its effect is that it has 3000 attack, but it can attack twice. Or even three times if you use a higher level monster to fusion summon it. It takes a spellcaster and an Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon meaning only this none of the other eyes fusion exceed or anything it takes other eyes pendulum dragon that's what makes it not so good and it will attack twice but the main thing about it is that the turn it is fusion someone it's unaffected by all my opponent cause effects so they can't bottomless or do anything it's just really good in that way two vortex vortex is just Vortex is just good. It's a negate every turn. When it is special someone it bounces back a card to the hand. And it has 3000 defense. That's good. For your synchros, you have two Meteor Burst, Stardust, Crimson Chin, and Igneal. You don't have to worry about Igneal being summoned because I know a lot of you realize it takes a Pendulum Monster and a Tuna Monster. The chances if you're summoning this card, 99% you will be using a pendulum monster. Because you're only non-pendulum monster, and I'm almost a thousand percent sure you're not going to use it as synchro material. Okay? So don't worry about summoning Igneal. And Crimson Blade is there for just stopping certain decks from doing whatever they like. Like Cosmos, you just want to chop something just once just once and just hear them internally scream for your exceeds cowboy he might be cut from the deck i'm not sure yet diamond dial castell that's it for your rank fours then you have for the big boys beyond absolute and oh that's rebellion now cowboy might be cut or diamond dial i'm not really sure which way i want to go right now because you're not really playing to exceed anymore, you're playing to synchro someone. And the reason why I take this route is because when synchro monsters are used, 
sorry, when pendulum monsters are used to synchro, they go to the face of extra deck. You play a lot of seven, six. Okay, so synchro someone in the deck. Not really a big deal because you're playing three of each, minus the keyboard. And then for the X eat summons, Absolute is a utopia in disguise. Also, when it leaves the field and goes to the grave, if it was exceed someone, you can special summon a other monster from your extra deck, meaning rebellion, a next copy of itself, meteor burst, or vortex. Now, it cannot summon Runize because Runize is not a other monster. That's the reason why he's not really that good. But if however I need space for new cards, I'll change it up. Next up is the side deck. I'm playing a lot of unique stuff in the side deck. First up, three darks more. He's really good. Just go first turn against a deck that plays heavy backfield like PK file. And just watch them squirm. Their only out is Acid Golem. And I mean only out. Next up, two Newman era Tetsuda. I'm not sure why it has that name. I think it's Japanese. I'm not sure. I'm not sure at all. A lot of people don't know what it does. It's a very old card. It was released in Order of Chaos. It's a short print, really hard to get, even though it's a normal monster. I mean, sorry, common card. No. Its effect is as 1800 attack, zero defense. Neither player can special summon monsters. 1800 or less so it cut blocks a lot of decks a lot especially pk file and performer pulse especially performer pulse i don't want them to be summoning and keeping up shenanigans just keep that to themselves i don't want them summoning especially sorcerer and getting plus two and combo off so it's a very good card and it helps a lot the only problem is its attack is kind of low because it's 1800 like any Drake Overlord or Draco Slayer can just summon and kick him off. Even in that case, they won't be able to attack anymore for the turn because they'll pendulum someone next. They won't pendulum and attack you. So you're a bit safe for that one turn with it either way. Next up is One Trap Eater. Trap Eater is a very good card. He's a level 4 monster that is a tuner also. By special summon is you have to send one face up trap card your opponent controls to the graveyard. Now this may be specific, but it doesn't bother you for the purpose intended for it. It's there for when your opponent uses anti spell fragrance. You trap eater it, you have a level four tuner on the field, and you can synchro someone into Igneal and get back something into their deck. So it's good for you. Also, the reason I'm only playing one is because now that the deck got hit and all the wisdoms are out of the deck, you're playing a very few amount of level four monsters. Your very few level fours are wisdom and this. Now you may say you can go into sorry, you have one more level four, which is Dragon Pulse. Now any of these can go into your Ignisto. So you can combo from that, but if it's anti-spell, it's not like you'll have a pendulum on the field to destroy and shuffling back a card. So you'll have to activate a scale after. Next up is that there's only one other card you can use to sync with it and it's Time Gazer. So you can go into your other is Meteor. But these are the only few cards you can synchro with, that's why I'm not playing more than one. So it's not really that good yet or probably will never be that good anymore because of the hit by the ban list. Last Typhoon, 3 Decree because God knows we need Decree. Okay, it's like you're one of your best cards ever against heavy back row deck, especially PK file. When you draw this, you're supposed to feel great. They'll exceed into the... Megazord, the blue one to destroy it, but the Decree is very helpful. If you have Decree and Simorgon Field, there's not much they can do, okay? And if you have Tetsuda on the, f on the field, the 
the decree actually matters because they won't be able to special someone to get over it if it's PK fire. As in, this is a complete lockdown for PK fire. They're out. There is no way for them to go around this. They don't play a monster that is 1800 or more to kick this off. And decree will block them. They'll need dark hole or something to get out. Next up, three Imperial Iron Walls. Before, Cosmo was not a bad matchup for the deck. You love to see Cosmo players. You'll send them home packing crying to Mamata every time. Now, it's become an issue because you keep breaking. With the wisdom gone, it's not that easy to draw the scales you want. So, Imperial Iron Wall is there. Inferno is losing reasoning. This is a bigger hole for them. Bougins. A lot of decks lose to Imperial Iron Wall. Even Monarchs, because they can't banish cards from their grave and continuously doing their homo thing. So, it's very good. And last for the Pendulum matchup, you have Grand Horn of Heaven. Grand of Horn of Heaven just is there for protection. You know what it does. Send all their Pendulum monsters that was Pendulum at once to the grave, and then they draw a card. But it also ends their main phase, so they'll have to go into battle phase with no monsters or go to their end phase their choice I don't really care now before I finish the video I'm just going to show you a few other possibilities that could have been playing I was going to play face off and Draco Overlord because obviously I've been looking at the OCG list and OCG stuff what they play over there Draco Overlord Draco Slayer and face off is in their decks and it's really good even though there's one Ignisto, they play the Fusion Annexes still, and that gives them a big bonus. Next up, Eradicator. I wanted to play it, but I took it out because consistency issues. It doesn't make sense of playing the card. When I draw it, it's not going to be useful because I cannot pendulum someone to activate it. I prefer to play my two time gazers over it. And then your last option was Summoner's Art. Now, Summoner's Art isn't that bad in the deck because you can add your dragon pit but the problem with it is that you can only add dragon pit okay that was the problem so in other words if you got all your pits someone's art would be dead in your deck and it has happened to me and then there's other situations that you run into where you actually want to draw a monster instead meaning I play Time Gazer because he's at 8 scale and I prefer to draw a monster than a card that searches for a monster because if a mistake activates you're in trouble you're in a lot of trouble and Time Gazer itself isn't even really a bad card despite all its drawback and a last thing is that when the new Synchro Pendulum reaches you will be able to clearly combo into it by going setting up your scales using time gazer synchro summon for other meteor burst meteor burst will special summon this on the field it doesn't have a bad field effect either because its field effect is that it protects your scales once so wavering which is banned will protect your scales from it typhoon twin twister anything will protect your scales from it and then from there you can use the two of these even though none of them is tuners to synchro for the pendulum synchro so the deck is already prepared to get the pendulum synchro and the future look bright for others because he'll be getting a lot of support and I'm glad for that because I don't want others be like the only cards I can search for sky iris well only good cards alright thanks for watching rate comment subscribe tell me what you think about the video tell me what you think about the deck most importantly I want to hear your guys opinions on what you would want to play and what you'd like to see Alright, thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'm out.